Hello, today I'm going to show you a mixture of coins. The first is a very small gold coin called a Fanam, which was produced in the 1600s. It shows quite a stylized design of dots and a crescent moon, which is a theme shared by the next coin. It's a silver coin, quite thick, and it has a degenerate bust on one side and a fire altar on the other. It's abstracted to the point that it would be unrecognisable if you didn't know what it was. Next is this cute one with a horse and rider on one side and a cow on the other. Changing theme slightly and moving to Byzantine, we have this large follis, beautiful green patina of Justin and Sophia. And another follis, this time from Leo the Wise, has a nice dark colour and contrast to it. These were produced in the 9th century. And finally, my third Byzantine coin is from Maurice Tiberius, and this is a half follis. Follis normally has an M on it, and the half follis has a K. We skip along to a small silver coin, which is Anglo-Saxon origin. It's a continental type skiat, and this was from 695 to 740 AD. We have here a Celtic Duratrig stator. These are tricky because they produced them in silver and debased metal. So not always easy to tell which is which. And another Celtic coin, this time with a stylized horse on the reverse. And then a little out of place, another coin with a horse on it. Lithuanian coin. I've always liked their symbolism of the horse and rider and on the other side an imperial eagle and a silver Indo-Greek coin of Menander. quite like this type. It's a shame there's a bit of incrustation on the reverse because otherwise this is a beautiful coin. And finally this coin from Parthia. It was produced by Mithridates II and the type is heavily influenced by the earlier Greek coinage. Thanks for watching.